All right, so recording this part on my phone. Okay, look, so I'm going to be sort of getting into how to add the applications outside of the Play Stores. One way is the old school way through a flash drive, right? So on the side here, see this can get, um, you know, focus. It has a USB 3.0 and a USB 2.0. You can plug your flash drive into either one. That's completely up to you, but you want to use one of them. All right, so welcome to this episode of The Buzz X5 Super Sport. Now, I'm going to show you how you can easily install applications from a flash drive. So I'm going to go all the way over to App Installer. You're going to see two drives. You want to pick USB drive. This is going to be your external storage device. You want to click on it. You want to go all the way into the bottom until you see your apps. So for this demonstration, since I already have Cinema HD Pro installed, I'm going to do any desk. And I'm going to do quick support. It's just that quick. It's lightning fast and it works without any hassle really. So I'm gonna back out and as you can see, any desk and quick support is installed. Now, notice how easy and simple that was. This is an alternative to if something's not on the Google Play Store or even on AppToy. I like both App Tool and Google Play Store because it's quick and it's easy. It's efficient. Sometimes you need something outside of those applications. That's where the flash drive can come in handy. Now, another thing that's popular is a lot of core cutter streamers, um, programmers, they love to put their applications on a cloud. And the cloud is very useful because if you're remote or if you happen to be at someone's home and you just want like another alternative to a flash drive, you're able to pull something up from the cloud and bring it down locally to their device. Now, there are some caveats with that, um, at least on this particular device. I haven't experienced this issue on other devices, but I want to show you something things. So I'll go to the settings. Go into apps, go into, and I have Explore as well. We'll start with that first. All right. Now I'm going to go all the way into permissions. There's something called files allow. Default, it would be set at don't allow. Now notice how this setting will be different from the other applications. CX File Explorer, same thing, permissions. That's it. And same thing with File Manager Plus. That is it. So let me show you an additional step. There is something called security and restrictions. Everything's all good here. Make sure that's good. Double check. All right, and special app access, uses access. I mean, you can go in here and make some changes. So far, so good, right? All files access. Makes sense so far. I mean, basically, you just want to make sure that you're covering your bases here. That's all right. That's all. And that's really about it. So watch this. So I'm going to go into file manager plus and I'm going to head to cloud. And when I click on that, you see could not connect to Google drive. Now, if you just seeing it, like what I did, 
before this, you can see how that could be an issue for some people. Now, there are other aspects to these file managers, like you're able to do remote and you can add a remote location. Like if you have applications via local network, Samba, FTP, SFTP, or web dev, that's fine as well. But I'm just showing you that you can run into some issues when it comes to certain devices and certain applications with their updated versions. Same result. Let's try Explore. Web Storage, Google Drive. Invalid Scope. All right, so why did I show three failures? Reason is simple. Some things are going to work better out of the box than others. The purpose when you well, when you pay for a service device like the Buzz TV where they provide the application. However, you have to put in your own premium content so that it can connect properly. Buzz is providing here exactly what they promise. They, they didn't exactly promise that all the bells and whistles and everything else will work well, but I have tested that live TV and that joker is stable. That content will be on Rumble. We're going to be transitioning over to that as far as the content for Sunday. And then next week, there would be a first impressions, you know, pretty much several days after I had it. What do I think up to this point? Point is, there are alternatives. Use your Play Stores. Use your flash drives. I'm sure if you're getting this device, you probably don't need a ton of applications because the primarily way of using this device is going to be through live TV, VOD, TV series. You have the ability to record and that beautiful TV guide that it offers you. Point is, people, find a different way to do things because some things are not going to work out of the box and that's simply okay. There's an option and a solution these five managers that I've um, chosen for this video, this was to show you where things can go wrong. It's important in the process that you show where things can go wrong and what ways you can solve it or provide efficient alternatives. In this case, you, you know both. So we're gonna be transitioning over to Rumble. That's where you're gonna get the meat and potatoes, the juicy information on this device. If you like this video, let me know. Leave a thumbs up, comment on the video, share the video out. And until next time, peace out. Thank you for watching and take care. Goodbye.